This is a setup and operation video using the ProScope microscope camera and a traditional inspection microscope. Here is the traditional inspection microscope. I've actually removed um, one of the eyepieces, put in the adapter for the ProScope microscope camera, and then just slid the microscope camera into this eyepiece. Um, the first thing I want to do is to turn on the light of the, of the microscope. We'll let the camera adjust. I'm going to go ahead and square up the uh, subject, which is a little glass round reticle that I'm going to use to calibrate measurement. So uh, basically, once I'm done calibrating, uh, anything that is in focus will be in calibration. So we'll go ahead and go through those steps to calibration and then we'll, sh then we'll uh, confirm that our calibration is correct. Um, so the first thing I want to do right now, we're, we're viewing a live image from the microscope camera and you can see it on screen here. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, You'll notice that the, the hash marks here, the distance between the point 0.1 and the point 0.2, this is in thousandths of an inch, so this is a hundred thousandths as far as the uh, distance from this hash mark to this hash mark here. So I'm going to go ahead and capture an image. I'm going to see it now show up in the thumbnail list here on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. So that's going to bring up the image I just captured. So in the ProScope Capture software, I'm going to go to the measurement section. I'm going to bring up the calibration table. You'll see that I already have some calibrations in there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do a fresh calibration here just so you can see how it's done. So I know that this distance here between the point 0.1 and the point 0.2 is 100 uh, thousandths. So I'm going to go ahead and click to the left hash mark of the point one and then I'm going to click to the left hash mark of the point two. So in the in the uh, <clears throat> computer program this distance here uh, shows me that it's actually a pixel pixel length of 1791 uh, pixels. Um, but I know the actual distance is 0.1 or 0 0.100, so a hundred thousandths. So that's what I'm going to put in. So I'm calibrating. So I know that 1,791 pixels is equal to a hundred thousandths. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, give this a name. I'm going to call it MC for the microscope camera. Um, I'm going to call it the 2x, which is the objective that I'm using right here is a 2x combined with the 15x eyepiece that the microscope camera comes with. So I'm going to give it a name relative to that. Um, and I'm also going to tell the uh, computer or this particular calibration that uh, I'm calibrating at the 5 megapixel setting. So when we're done with that, I'm going to click Add. You'll notice that that setting now shows up here in the table. So if I want to make that the active calibration, I'm going to go ahead and click on this calibration, then click Apply. Now that that's applied, I can go ahead and close the calibration table. And now what I want to do is choose uh, a measurement tool. So in this case, I'm just going to choose the measurement line. So I'm going to go ahead and check my calibration. So I'm going to click to the left hash mark here, and I'm going to drag over, and I'm going to click to the left hash mark here. And you'll see here in this uh, uh, right-hand column that it tells me that a straight line distance measurement is a hundred thousandths. So my calibration is right on. Now if you want to see the screen better you can actually just 
roll your mouse and zoom in on the image and let's do that count let's do that measurement again let's go ahead and click down here left hash mark there left hash mark here and that again shows a hundred thousands as the measurement so if we want to do a smaller measurement let's say we don't just do twenty five thousands let's click to the left hash mark here and click to the left hash mark here and that shows up as twenty five thousandths of an inch again we can zoom in if we want to get an even closer view or zoom out as far as we want. Now let's go ahead and verify that the measurement is accurate for something else we want to look at. So um, in this case I'm going to get rid of this glass reticle. I'm going to move that off the stage. I'm going to t take a set of calipers um, that I'm not sure if you can see this, but I've got this set to 54 thousandths. So if I now lay that on the stage and I go back to my live view, you'll notice that that's out of focus. Well, it's because it's it's uh, further away from the uh, the top of the microscope, so I need to refocus this. So I'm going to go ahead and refocus the microscope. So that the gap of the calipers are in focus now. So now I'm looking at the the gap of the of the calipers that is set to 54 thousandths. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of that. And you'll see that it shows up as a thumbnail here. So I'm going to double click on the thumbnail. And it's going to bring up that picture I just took. Now, I'm going to go ahead and measure, since I know that I'm still calibrated to um, the reticle, I'm going to go ahead and choose a measurement line. And I'm going to draw a line from this edge to this edge and you'll notice that that distance there verifies that we are in calibration so even though you know the uh, I had to change focus you'll see that the calibration is still accurate that measures 54 thousandths of an inch and if you uh, look at the calipers it's flashing but it shows 54 thousandths so um, that's how this inspection tool works um, you could take anything else you know you could take uh, your roofing material um, cut a slice you'd have to figure out some way to hold it underneath there but once you've got it into focus you can see that you can actually zoom in on the material uh, to get a closer look or zoom out and even if you're zoomed in you can also um, measure it doesn't change the calibration so once again if we take the measurement tool and we click um, on this edge here and we click on this edge here you'll notice that the it still measures 54 thousandths of an inch so hopefully this helps and hopefully this is something that would work well for you in your processes thank you